What are the Hunger Games for? Welcome back to Panem, 64 years before the events of the first film. The Hunger Games, they're to punish the districts. Those tributes don't have a choice. We meet a young Coriolanus Snow who was chosen to mentor a young tribute from District 12. Lucy Ray Bear. Played by Rachel Ziegler. <laughs> who you'll know from Shazam and West Side Story. Tonight, tonight, the world is wild and bright. This film is based off the latest book by Suzanne Collins, a prequel to the trilogy that sold more than a hundred million books. Tony Lyle caught up with the cast. Mate, I have to say, you're here. Where have the blonde locks gone? <laughs> Everyone keeps asking me that. Want to know. Maybe it's not even me. Maybe this is a body double, yeah. and uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm at home with my feet up with a cup of tea. Yeah. Uh, no, it's um, yeah, that was very much for Coriolanus. Um, this is me, au naturel. Incredible film, an incredible franchise to be a part of. Rachel, you must have been pretty, I mean, stoked as an understatement when you got the nod. Absolutely. I mean, so I could feel like our whole cast really grew up being such diehard fans of the original books, of the original movies. And so getting the opportunity to step into that universe with masters of their craft like Francis and Nina and everybody who had worked on the original films, it felt pretty darn good to walk onto that set. And there are a couple of those iconic lines, uh, like little winks and nods to the original films. It must be kind of nice like when you sort of sing a few songs that appear in the original ones yeah so much fun because it, it's it's a iconic song that so many people love and getting to act as if i'm coming up with it because she is and we get to see the the pipeline of how it becomes the anthem of the revolution uh, for katniss and and ultimately takes you down and some pretty big boots to fill donald sutherland you know did you watch this performance and be like, how can I be him when he was young? Um, <laughs> not so much that. It was uh, definitely big boots to fill, for sure. That's no, no question there. But I think the only way to deal with that as an actor is to kind of let yourself off the hook and say, I have to make him my own. He has to be from within inside me. But yeah, of course, I'm a huge fan of Donald Sutherland and, um, and I hope that I, I did justice to the character that he, he originated. If you were dropped into the middle of the arena, how do you yeah. reckon you'd go? Do you reckon you'd, um, you'd walk out victorious? No, absolutely not. I know myself. <laughs> I would die. <laughs> At least you know yourself. <laughs> yeah, I would die, but I do think I would be able to win the affection of the, the capital the folks, people, yeah. and they would send me little parachutes of food and stuff. The only thing I'd be scared of, I would hide, stay really quiet, no one can find me, but then I would die of starvation, so I need people yeah. to send me parachutes. Yeah, I'd send you a parachute. Well, thanks, Tom. Yeah. 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 Oh, that's so kind, Tom. You wouldn't volunteer for me instead? That seems uh, so interesting. Yes, sorry, what I meant to say is I volunteer as tribute <laughs> at your place. Yeah, the iconic line. Yeah. <laughs> My hero. <laughs> And the Hunger Games, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes is in cinemas now, and uh, Guy is very excited. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> the crowd's not, but I'm, I'm bloody excited. <laughs>